Hey, welcome back if you're new to the channel. My name is Lewis. This is my 2022 Honda Civic Si, and behind me is my 2022 Toyota Supra. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I purchased a new Supra not too long ago. If you wanna see some Supra content, please comment below what you wanna see because there's gonna be some cool stuff coming, but I'd like to know what you guys wanna see out of it. But for this video, we're just gonna be talking about some of the best uh, budget options that you can do to your car. If you just got your new car and you wanna do some stuff to it, but you don't wanna break the bank, these are gonna be some of the best options for you. Uh, I'm gonna keep it at 100. One of them is kind of a little bit over 100, like $110, but for the most part, the rest of them are right below 100. So we'll start off with the last fit reverse lights and the last fit rear turning signals. As I'm sure some of you guys know that Honda did not put LEDs in the rear turning signals and the reverse lights. So last fit went ahead and made bulbs that will fit directly onto this. There's not gonna be any hyper flash. I'm sure some of you guys have changed out the turning signals before and you've had hyper flash, at least I have in the, in the past. So these are already are gonna be like straight out of the box. You plug them in, you don't have to worry about anything. And they're a lot brighter. The install for these is pretty simple. All you really have to do is open the trunk take a couple pull tabs out. Then you wanna undo the, the connector for the reverse lights and then just swap the bulbs. It's really that easy for the reverse lights. Now for the rear turning signals, it's gonna involve a few more steps. You have to pull this uh, plate from, that covers two screws that hold the rear light assembly in. And then uh, if you, there's a, there's a video out there that's kind of showing you that you have to pull the liner out of the, out of the inside of the trunk. And then, so when I did the install, I did not pull the liner with inside the trunk. I just undid the two screws and then I gently pulled the rear light assembly out. It does pop out and it'll pop right back in once you've taken those two screws out. And, uh, there's a video out there that has a couple more steps added to it. And I just don't think it was necessary. Now you do have to be pretty careful uh, whichever route you go, because if you pry on the, on the light assembly too much, it could actually scrape your paint like, like I did. So uh, use a plastic pry tool and be very gentle and take your time so you don't scratch your, well, so you don't scrape your paint off. I'm sure many of you guys know that Honda doesn't have the thickest of paints. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you take those two screws out, you pull the, you pull the light assembly out, uh, just swap out the, the bulbs, just like you did the reverse lights. Uh, make sure that your lights work before you put everything back together. I went ahead and did a before and after for you guys. So on the driver's side is what the new bulbs look like. And on the passenger side is what the old bulbs look like. Uh, it, the camera kind of doesn't do it justice, but in person, the difference in brightness is pretty crazy. So next is gonna be these, uh, Mugen door handle protection guards. Uh, they're pretty cool. They have a little carbon fiber look to them. They're pretty easy to install. All you gotta do is just make sure the area is clean, get it lined up the way you want to, and then go ahead and place it in. Uh, I do gotta warn you, whatever adhesive that they use behind these is super sticky. So as soon as you press it down on the paint, uh, that's probably not gonna get, you're probably not gonna get it back off. It's gonna ruin the adhesive and then, yeah. So uh, try your best to get it right the first time how you want it. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty much worth it. It looks cool. So next on the list is gonna be this Acuity insulated Poco shift knob. Now, when I first put this in, I was kind of like skeptical. I was like, how good of a job does it really do? But for the, it does actually a pretty good job. When I first installed it, I went ahead and put my FLIR gun to uh, this and my aluminum shift knob. I let them both sit in my car during the winter time. And the insulated shift knob was actually like almost 10 degrees warmer than my aluminum shift knob. And then in the summertime, I haven't done any tests yet, but usually I burn my hand and I'm sure a lot of you guys know that when you have a, a metal shift knob, uh, your hand could actually <laughs> hurt pretty bad from whenever you, you uh, put your hand to it in the summertime. But this actually works really well. I highly recommend it. One of the best things that I put in my car. I didn't even know it could be that good. It sits a lot lower in your car. So it's gonna feel like you have a little bit of shorter throw. It also comes with the shift boot collar. Uh, it allows you to pull it down so you can quickly change your shift knob if you wanted to change to a different shift knob, a different color. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. It's a really cool 
design. I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite shift knobs. And yeah. Next on the list is gonna be another Acuity product. It's gonna be their shift linkage bushing upgrade. Now, I already installed this on the car. I made a video about that as well. So go ahead and check that one out. The, the Poco shift knob and the shift linkage bushing upgrade are all in the same video. But this is a, another cool product. Whenever I first bought the car and I was going through the gears, it felt really rubbery. It wasn't very engaging. Sometimes I would wonder whether or not I was fully engaged in the, in the gear that I selected. So this kind of gets rid of all that. It's a lot more engaging. It makes you feel like you're actually in the gears and it makes reverse a lot better. Uh, I've had some guys tell me that getting into reverse felt kind of weird, but once they installed these uh, shift linkage bushings, uh, it completely got rid of all that. So highly recommend it if you want to get better shifts out of your car. The last thing I recommend is going to be this PRL stage one intake. It's just a upgraded silicone hose and a upgraded uh, air filter. Now, it's uh, much better looking and much more efficient than this accordion thing that comes with the <laughs> stock air box. Uh, it also looks a lot better than what you get from the factory. And with the air filter, it's reusable. You just clean it and you get rid of the crappy paper one that you get from the factory. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything that I put in this video down in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the description box below. Make sure to smash that like button and follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching my videos. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for smashing the like button. It continues to help this channel grow. And if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more videos on the SI or the Supra, please consider subscribing. And thank you guys for all your support.